Okay, this is a review of our first morning using the gear out in the field. Um, I am really happy with most of everything, except for I'm not super happy about um, the tent. Um, I think I have some issues with it. Um, my niece and I are sharing the tent today. My husband is in our more traditional tent. Um, this is my niece over here in her sleeping bag. She's just waking up. Um, there is... Oh, let me back up. There is not much um, head headroom on this side of the tent. Um, if for two people to sit up, you have to be sitting up at the front part of the tent. And so like right now my niece is sleeping. I would have to um, straddle her or she would have to move over to my side if I were to be over here sitting up trying to get ready. Um, I guess I could in this middle back part um, semi sit up enough to get dressed but it would be uncomfortable. Um, yeah, if I were to make a recommendation for the tent, it would be to make the back part of the tent, um, taller, but that would also require more fabric and, um, way more. Also, um, the fabric of the tent, it, um, the visibility through it has its pros and cons. Like this morning, it's really nice. You can see the silhouette of the trees outside, um... But last night it bothered me a little bit. Um, there, it was not a full moon, but there were lots and lots of stars that caused the sky to be really bright and I had a little problems sleeping because of that. Um, but I think tomorrow I'll, I'll just use my buff to um, cover my eyes some and hopefully that'll resolve it. Um, I also like the visibility of it. My dog is out there. I can, you can see see all around the tent if needed. Um, and this is a great morning view. A really nice thing about this tent, it has zero condensation and we are sleeping near a pretty big lake. There's lakes around here everywhere. And I have no condensation. My husband in the more traditional tent um, has condensation. Um, so that that's impressive. Another thing I learned is to keep your bags um, in the front part, not uh, up right by your head, not by your feet, and that allows you to have um, more headroom. My legs, the foot of my tent. Let's see, I have I was touching the um, tent walls a little bit all night um, just because there's not a lot of room now. I guess it could have moved closer to my niece um, and that would have created more room so my tent, I mean and for my sleeping bag wasn't touching. Um, so I'll, maybe I'll try that tonight. Um, but yeah it was a little claustrophobic back here in the back. Um, I loved, loved um, this Z-Pack um, sleeping stuff sack pillow. It wasn't noisy at all. Um, I was worried about that, but no, it was 100% perfect. My padding system, my thermos rest needle air, my, I think it's called a Z-Lite, absolutely perfect, no complaints at all. Uh, my little alcohol stove, it was okay, but I think I'm going to invest in that caldera. 600 milliliter um, Sidewander tri tie instead. Um, my DIY lid I was not very happy with. It's hard to take on and off with the pot being really hot and my duct tape is already starting to burn off the top. Um, so I don't even know if it's going to last the all three days out here. Um, the good news is that the fire restrictions were lifted because we got some recent rain. Um, so I'm 
I'm not going to probably need to use all my alcohol on this trip because we can also heat up our stuff on the fire. And it's nice having a fire. Um, and I was able to burn my Mary Jane bags. They burn very easily, but I haven't tried using them yet as fuel. Um, so tonight, maybe I can get my husband in here. He's so much taller, and we can see what this tent's like for him. Okay, thank you.